Hi guys, in today's lesson we are looking at product disassembly, how it's made. Objectives, look at the product and evaluate how it is made. Look at the key components for a product similar to what you plan to make. This is when we look at a product similar to what we want to make and identify the common components required to make it and how it's made. So when completing a product disassembly, you should label all the parts, explain how each part is made or produced. For example, you vacuum form machine, laser cutter, injection molding. You need to explain what material is used and why that particular material is used. What are the purpose of each part? Look at the construction methods and other options. What is good about the product? What negatives are about the product? What are the alternative ways it could be produced? In this example, we have a lampshade, which is very easy to disassemble separate components and be able to label them. However, in most cases, you will not be able to physically disassemble a product. In this example, we have a product which we are not able to physically disassemble each part. However, what, what we can do is open the product, remove the drawers and decide how each part is made. So, for example, the joints are hidden in the box. So it's difficult to actually mention what joints are used. The drawers are very light, meaning they can slide over the ridge easily. The sliding top is curved and can still slide because small pieces of wood, so these are small pieces, were glued onto a piece of cloth with a space in between to allow it to bend. This is the complete product with all of its components. These are drawers removed from the product. If we look at this picture, you can see a groove. So this groove or this cap was made using a milling machine to allow the sliding top to function properly. In this picture, we have a clear image of a mitre joint. Another example is if you have one picture available, you paste the picture in the middle and then you try your best to go around and explain how each part is made. So this student has written the type of joint that it uses and also the process. So this is made using a laser cutter. It's quick, it's accurate. Uh, this would, this, these grooves here are also made using a laser cutter. You have three examples how, of how product disassembly can be achieved. One example, you physically disassemble a product. Another example is you open the product, take pictures of the product from different angles and explain how each part is made. The third example is where you copy and paste an image and the key focus is types of materials, joints, manufacturing methods such as laser cutter, vacuum forming, hand tools. You need to basically identify how you could make this product if you were making this in a workshop. And remember, you need to pick products that are achievable, that you can actually make in a workshop. You do not want to pick products that are too difficult to make. Thanks for watching, guys.